How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at three audio boards and we've even made a little prank project that is at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that. Sean will be in here in a second just to talk about that. But first off we're going to talk about the Noisy Cricket Stereo Amplifier. This is a 1.5 watt amplifier and features the LM4853 Boomer IC and you even have a couple of jumpers on the back that allow you to turn it into a mono amplifier if you want to do that instead. You won't need a Series 4 de-atomizer with the Noisy Cricket. This little board is a Class AB amplifier. You only need an input of 2.4 to 5.5 volts DC for a power supply, 300 milliwatts into 8 ohms per channel in stereo mode, 1.5 watts into 4 amps in mono mode. The Noisy Cricket is also equipped with a dual gain potentiometer with built-in switch, so that way you can change the volume simultaneously and control power. It is also equipped with PTH pads to change gain resistors if it's desired. And like we said earlier, there are a couple of solder jumper pads on the bottom of the board to change it from stereo mode, which it comes out of the box, to mono mode. Next up, we have two audio playback boards that we've affectionately dubbed Soundies, and they come in two varieties, the Little and the Papa. We'll start with the easier of the two, the Little Soundie. The Little Soundie only has four steps to get you set up and playing music or sounds right away. Simply plug in a micro USB cable, hit the power play button, drag and drop in your sound files, and you're good to go. The little soundy utilizes pin control, so when the voltage goes high on the pin on the left side of the board, it will play that specific track in order. You'll need a voltage in of 3.3 to 5.5 volts, though all the I.O. are 3.3 volt logic with pull-down resistors, not 5 volt tolerant. It's equipped with 4 megabytes of SPI flash, it uses high-performance license-free AUG Vorbis decoder for compressed audio, and it'll also play WAV-type files as well. It supports variable bit rate and sample rates and is equipped with six GPIO for triggering auto playback. And it's all binary coded. And the best part about it is, it's programming free. You don't need to worry about any of that. Meanwhile, the Papa Sound E is equipped with a 328P processor, so it handles all the pin changing for you. You also may have noticed that there's a micro SD card slot on here to expand the memory that is available for the Papa Sound E. The Papa Sound E does require a 3.3 to 9 volt power supply, and it is regulated to 3.3 volts. All I.O. is 3.3 volt logic, again, not 5 volt tolerant. All audio files are played off of the micro SD slot, though there is 4 megabytes of flash for boot firmware. Like the Little Soundie, it does use a high performance license free AUG Vorbis decoder for compressed audio, and it will still play WAV type files, which is a little bit more handy for this board since it does have a micro SD slot to expand its memory. It too supports variable bit rate and sample rates. It is able to be supported through I2C or SPI. It has two analog inputs and seven digital I.O. pins, three of which are PWM. The last thing that we need to make sure that you're aware of when it comes to these soundy boards is that you will need speakers to operate them. If you try and plug in headphones, it won't break the boards, but nothing will happen. We did go through these a little bit quickly, and the reason for that is, like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a fun little prank project. And here we Hi, have Chris. Sean to show us what we got. What are we doing, Sean? Well, we made a thing. This is a box that makes noises, and we've got a box over here that triggers it. You can see who's on the front right there, right? Oh, it's like a spark mouth. Uh, well, what happened to all spark? Uh, that, was, that was trademarked by Michael Bay. Oh, we can't use that. So, let's see what's on the inside. All right, so this is the big box. In it, what we've done is taken Smash Mouth's All Star, the intro of it, and sliced it up into tiny clips, about one or two seconds a piece, and we've stored them on the SD card on the Papa Soundy. The Papa Soundy is programmed to transmit out to the remote and ask for permission to play one of these sounds. That gives us some control over the prank. This then goes to the Noisy Cricket, which amplifies each one of those clips to a surface transducer. The idea is that we put the surface transducer on some hard surface, we close up everything, and we have to turn it on. And it is ready to go. So you will put this somewhere, say in a cabinet, in the ceiling, in a wall, behind a TV, and then it will randomly play clips from that song every 10, 15 seconds. This is the remote. It's a battery-powered Pro Mini that's talking to an XB that communicates back to the original prank box. We plug it in, and it connects to the prank box. Once it's done that, we can arm it with this switch. And then we wait for the sound clips to start firing. Body with a this is a pretty good prank. Let's go get some people with it, shall we? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
are you doing? There's something up here that is creating a disturbance. enjoyed this project as much as we did making it. <laughs> making it. So, it is important to note that we only utilized the Papa Soundy and the Noisy Cricket in this one, and as you just saw, our developer Patrick has made this really cool little project using <laughs> the little using the little Soundy, and that will be featured in a future video. So make sure you check back for that. So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Best part about this is I make this look good. <laughs> Next up, we have two, both really not. I mean, yeah, saw you shaking your head. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a thing. Shaking. That's a Michael Bay thing. We're gonna trigger it with this. Let's see what's on the inside. <laughs> they were no, I you know I keep doing that. This is a. <laughs> I threw you off with the Michael Bay. You wanted to call it the All Spark, but that's our lit. Oh. Nothing will happen. Just like when you die. <laughs> Last thing that we... Hi. Pew! Pull of throat. Blah! 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 Okay. <laughs> next up. Next up. Next up. Okay. Next up we have...